Hi Libra, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. My name is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you for so thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you, thank you. And if you're new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information, ton of information is there. So please do go check that out. Information about me, decks I'm using, readings, everything you need to know is there. And before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, to those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation towards the channel is very, very much appreciated. I could not do it without you guys. And I truly love to do this for you. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so this is for Libra, general reading for the first half of August. Let's see what we have for Libra. I hope everybody's doing well. The first half of August already. Wow, just can't believe it. This wanted to flip out so you could have an Aries around you in some way, but I didn't ask it. So, wow, okay. So we could get a sign, element, or planet energy. This is a general reading, but I always say if you can fit it into a um, relationship scenario or a love situation, that's totally fine. But I will be reading this as a general reading. I do the love reading separate, love connection readings. So if this is your first, first time uh, watching me and you're interested in love readings, you can go check out my channel, my videos. Uh, do like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. Be greatly appreciated. Comment. I love to read the comments. All right. Wow. Okay. So for Libra, what's going on with Libra? The first half of August. What kind of energy may be around some Libras? If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. All right. One card for Libra. Leo. Okay, so this is so funny because I am a Leo and my sister's Libra. <laughs> so some of you could have a Leo around you in some way, shape, or form. Huh. Okay. Just want to get that right. Oh, come on. Okay. So Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra with the Oracle now, and then I'll use the Tarot. And then at the end, we'll get some extra guidance and messages for you going forward. All right, so one more shuffle. All the decks were cut, shuffle, cut, meditated on off camera. All right, one card for Libra. Libra, Libra. What's going on with Libra? What is the message most? needed for Libra for the first half of August spirit please thank you so much all right there we go and we have the crumbling what are you clinging on to okay so that means this definitely here reminds me of the tower cod in uh, tarot so there may be something that you're holding on to that's ending or crumbling down that you need just need to let go of, stop holding on to it. Um, it probably needs to end or come to an end in some way, shape, or form. And maybe you're hesitant about um, this ending, whatever it is for you. I definitely feel like you feel like something. But beyond that, this crumbling down, look at all the new growth that is beyond this that's crumbling down look at all this new growth and abundance that awaits so i feel like it's divinely guided here with all the lightning and up here in the stormy clouds i feel like whatever is happening for you right now is probably supposed to be happening probably meant to happen as much as you probably don't want it to happen uh, you're maybe have fear you're afraid uh scared of something ending or coming to an end but I definitely feel like here it's finally guided and it's probably meant to happen. So I think you just need to let it happen because with this ending or whatever's coming down, 
something new. Look at all the bright, beautiful abundance here that awaits for you beyond this that you're hanging on to. That probably needs to end, whatever that situation is for you. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Sisterhood of the Rose. Wow, that is just so funny. <laughs> and how I said, I'm a Leo, my sister, I'm Leo, and my sister's a Libra, and now we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. So, I don't know, these are kind of new cards for me, so I just want to read that one Sisterhood of the Rose. Um, okay, there's some quiet. The Sisterhood of the Rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their lives to serving humanity and seeding light consciousness all over the earth. A cross-section of ancient lineages, it is the path of devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. The rose symbolizes the heart and the sacred geometry of all life. You are being called to notice the beauty around you, particularly in nature, and look at all the beauty in nature here that awaits you beyond whatever's ending or crumbling down for you. Wow. You may not see it yet because things look are covering it and, and things look dark and gloomy right now because of this ending or something coming to an end or crumbling down. But look at all the beauty there. Wow. Um, let's see. Where were we now? You are being called to spend more time in nature. All the ancient secrets live there. Mother Earth is constantly whispering. Spend time admiring her creation, admiring her creations, and you will be rewarded with insight and grace. You are being called to take a little more time to both notice the beauty that exists all around you and contribute to the beauty of the world in your own way too. This could be through your own creations or in little things like how you dress to picking flowers for your home. Every time you devote your time to creating beauty, you harmonize the planet a little more and shift in vibration. And the shift in vibration can be felt. Work your light action. Surround yourself with beauty and create beauty wherever you go. Wow. So I think something beautiful is going to happen for you after this. It could be something major ending or whatever happens beyond that there's something bigger and beautiful for you but I you may not see it right now because you're being blinded by all this darkness of all that is you know surrounding you right now all right so if you don't have a Leo around you I mean you could um, have Leo in your chart or just know somebody who has Leo in their chart or um, or just a friend or family member who's a Leo that may be able to help you through this difficult time. All right. So what's going on with Libra? What is this crumbling? What is this crumbling? What are they clinging on to? What is their energy for the first half of August? For uh, Libra, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Yeah one card just want one card for libra one card for libra wow please one card for libra what's going on with libra spirit please the first half of august All right i may just take from the top this is taking way too long all right i think this one right here Okay, the Empress. Wow, so <laughs> whatever this crumbling down is here will give birth to something new, and this is the Empress. She gives birth to, she gives birth to everything. She's growth, expansion, she's wise, she's smart, she's sexy, she's passionate, she's truthful, honest, she's stable and secure. So whatever this ending is coming or is happening now for you is for you to be able to come into your empress uh, power here and the empress is Libra and Taurus so this is your energy and this is a major arcana so this is big message for you that you need this ending so that you can come into your power 
and there's something bigger and beautiful that I think awaits you at the at the end of the sending. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so what other energy is around you? So we have the Five of Cups and we have the Nine of Cups. Wow, so water energy here. So the Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups is telling me that, yeah, you feel sad and lonely. You feel lost, you feel hurt. Whatever this loss, you know, you could have lost someone or something here. Could have been a job, could have been a person, could have been anything here. There was a big loss. But at the end of all this, even though you're not seeing it, you will be joyous and happy. You will have wish fulfillment. You will um, be independent. You know, you will have happiness and joy, even though you have to go through this period of sadness and loneliness and loss and hurt. And then you will have this Nine of Cups energy come in where you are feeling happy and joyous and wish fulfillment and uh, very independent energy. All right, so let's see what your actual situation is now. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the King of Pentacles. Wow. So, so the Ace of Pentacles, this is something new here. Something brand new. Could be um, a new home. Could be a new job. It could be anything that is stable, it's secure, it's abundant. It's either material or uh, monetary or something like that. And Two of Wands is right in the middle of your spread. So the pentacles are um, Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You got the Two of Wands with the fire energy here, Leo, Sag, Aries. So, and then the King of Pentacles is someone who can be male or female, you know, who is very uh, stable and secure, makes their money. They're very smart. They're dependable. They're hardworking. Um, kind of energy they're you know they stand firm they stand their ground they're firmly planted they don't go anywhere they're very trustworthy but the two of wands here is right in the middle so that's an energy of making plans making decisions going in a new direction you know and making those plans and setting forth in a whole new direction so i mean you could could have lost a job because this is about material monetary job or career or um just money coming in, like a lump sum of money for some reason, or um, something like that. I mean, you could have had, like, your partner pass away, and now, you know, sometimes you get, um, like, their benefits. I mean, that's kind of morbid to say that, but I'm also getting that energy. Or you could have lost a job, and now you have a brand new job opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles, and now you're making plans for this new job going in a new direction you could even have to move and you'll be much more stable secure you'll probably make more money um kind of energy here maybe even be you'll have more um authority in what you do um maybe being more of like a boss or something like that so i mean there's a couple different things here Whatever this ending a loss is for you, you have something better coming in for you where you'll be more stable and secure. Okay, and I see growth and abundance also. I, I see abundance too, and you see all the abundance here. Wow, and I think this card also spoke of that. So let's see what your advice is moving forward. Libra. So we have the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So the Page of Pentacles, here's that offer coming in. It could be, you know, like a job offer or something like that, Earth Energy. And then here's the Three Swords. So that, you know, speaks of a lot of pain and heartache um, and that kind of thing. So as much as you're feeling hurt about whatever ending is here, you still have to look at this new opportunity coming in 
for you. And it may be coming in at a time when you don't want to see it, you don't want to look at it, you don't want to deal with it because you have this major ending, a loss happening for you. And you don't even want to look at this offer because you're in like this state right here. But your advice is you still need to consider it, look at it, um, examine it. You know, it's just kind of looking at this here. You really need to look at it, even though you're maybe in a state where you don't want to. Okay, so let me put this down. So the stars is air energy, and we have earth energy again. So let's see what your possible outcome is now in this situation. The Knight of Wands. So yeah, I think you will, you know, as much as you're feeling reluctant to look at this offer, look at whatever this is coming in for you because of this heartache and pain that you're feeling either over an ending or a loss of some kind, I think you will take action towards this new offer because you have the Knight of Wands now and here's the fire energy. So it could be a fire sign coming in with a new opportunity, a new offer here with the Page of Pentacles that brings you this um, abundance of a brand new beginning. And uh, here's you taking action, you know, feeling very excited and passionate and um, going forward with a lot of drive and ambition. You know, finally realizing that, you know, I need to start moving on or I need to go in a new direction now because you do have the Two of Wands, which is making plans and decisions about a new direction. So, and you know, you could be a boss. The Knight of Pentacles, uh, King of Pentacles energy here. You know, you definitely could be a higher ranking position than previously or whatever it is for you. All right, so let's get more clarification now so we have temperance Sagittarius energy so yeah uh, you may be feeling imbalanced through this whole loss ending whatever it is for you that you're trying to cling on to but this is telling you that you can heal from this you can balance out your energies um, just have time you know just need to take your time and be patient with yourself and with what's going on with you time patience healing and balancing out your energies here. You will get balance in this situation. All right, and it could be a very fair and balanced offer coming into you also that is being offered to you. Two of Swords, so yeah, I think, you know, your energy, I think you're gonna be indecisive about what to do for a little bit here. Um, you're not gonna, you know, you're going to be indecisive and you're not going to be quite sure exactly if you want to look at this opportunity or pass it by or jump on it. Or I think you'll have a period where you won't be able to decide, but you'll balance out your energies. And with the outcome here with the Knight of Wands, I think you're going to take that action because you see how bright your future can be with this opportunity. And then we have the tower, exactly. And I had said, and here's a confirmation, that this card here reminded me of the tower. And now we have the tower. So some kind of major ending loss here for you that is crumbling down, that is ending, but you're still kind of trying to hang on to it, like you don't want it to end or you don't, you know, you don't want this to happen. But uh, I see here there's a need just to let it go Six of Pentacles. So now we have Temperance over there, and Six of Pentacles is also about balance, equality, equal give and take. So, and this is like to me the minor arcana, arcana of justice, which is the Libra card, as you see the balancing of the scales here. So this is like the minor to me. So yep, things are going to very much be balanced out for you, and I feel like this will be a very just, fair, balanced offer for you. It's going to, you know, provide you with a lot of growth and abundance that you're not seeing right now. And, um, yeah, a lot of balance and equality. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for extra Ten of Swords. Yeah, some, some kind of major painful ending here with the Ten of Swords. Hurtful, hurtful, painful ending, completion. It's done. It's over. Like I said, it could be anything. It could be a job, it could be just a loss of a loved one, it could be um, anything. 
And I don't know if you can see how my incense is burning it. Isn't that crazy? I don't think you could see that, but it's like a loop. Can you see that? All right, let me see. I don't want it to break off. Look at, I've never seen that before. Can you see that? It's crazy. Things will come full circle for you. I've never seen that happen. Wow. I don't think you're seeing it just yet, but things will come full circle for you. Wow. It's like a perfect loop there. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So getting back. Ten of Swords. Yep. Yeah. Hurtful, painful ending of some kind. Five of Wands. Conflict. Confusion. Uh, inner conflict. You know, like I said, you might have a period of inner conflict about even looking at this offer, even considering it, looking or even looking out into the future, what you need to do, what you should do, even with this ending, just a lot of conflict, inner conflict around you, fire energy, that's the fire energy, eight of swords, so yeah, being mentally trapped, air energy, so your energy, again, having mental blockages and can't get out of your own head, um, just maybe having a state of depression for a while. And maybe that's why you're not willing really to look at this offer. But you can get out of this mental entrapment. Because then you have the Two of Cups. So you will, you know, again, come into that balance. That's um, usually it means, you know, like a love connection. But I'm, I'm just getting with this. You will come back and equal out yourself. You will come in back into alignment and balance out your energies and come out of this situation and two of cups i think being perfectly aligned what is with what is meant for you in the future with this coming in i feel like whatever is happening here was meant to happen you know as much as you may not want to hear that or realize that or say well how can that be i think it is because you have the two of cups it's going to align you what is with what is really truly meant for you coming out of this into a brighter more abundant future eight of pentacles so yep you know doing the work you know mastering whatever you're doing here putting in that hard work and dedication and having stability and growth and expansion and all that we've seen here with the eight of pentacles energy and there's another brand new beginning here with the ace of wands fire energy you know moving forward and in this brand new beginning with a lot of passion ambition and drive excitement the fool again you know realizing I need to start over and reset and leave everything behind me that's no longer serving me and just have a brand new leap of faith and starting over from scratch starting over and resetting at zero Wow page of cups so again could be this person you know could be a close friend someone uh, who understands what you're going through, who comes forward with, you know, a lot of um, support to you with this Page of Cups energy, a lot of loving, understanding, and support, and that sort of thing. And also may, you know, they probably know they have to come forward with this offer in a very loving way because they know what you're going through, what you've been through. All right. So I do see that... This tower moment is meant to happen for you so that you can have this two brand new beginnings with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so let's get some... I'm just curious what's on the bottom of this. You're already doing it. Hmm. Okay. So let's get some guidance for you moving forward. And this is the butterfly oracle and it's all about life changes so i definitely feel like you're going through a big change right now some sort of big loss ending uh tower moment but i think divine is working its magic because they know there's something better for you beyond this whatever it is for you as hard as that may uh sound all right one card for libra for the first half of August. What is their advice, guidance in this situation, please, Spirit? And we have one card for Libra, please. Thank you so much. 
one card for, wow. That's just way too many. One card for Libra, please. I think I'm just gonna take that one. Seeking and finding. So that is, you know, you know, the situation is sort of like seeking and finding you and this new opportunity coming in, you know, you may not be looking for it, but it's coming here to find you because it's meant for you. You know, seek and you shall find what is meant for you will be for you. But I definitely feel like even though you may not be seeking it, it's still going to find you because it's meant for you. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. You are stronger than you know. Exactly, and that reminds me of the strength card, which is Leo energy. So this Leo energy just could be the energy of the lion of having that, you know, courage and strength and bravery through this situation because you are stronger than you know. Heavenly signs, I don't know if that means anything for anybody. All right, Libra, I hope that resonated for you. And if it didn't, you could check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something for you will resonate for you uh, there. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And if you do like my style, how I read, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, comment. Love to read the comments. Subscribe. Please do subscribe. And um, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings, general and love, bi-weekly. So don't miss out on that. And I'm wishing you lots of healing energy and lots of luck in this situation here going forward. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.